getting it, cuz. Send that thing. It's your boy, Jay Mitch. Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy, Jay Mitch. I'm up here today doing an unboxing of the new Creighton 6X EXB RTR. Um, I wasn't really gonna get this car, but um, it was in the hobby shop and your man had to get it. So before we get into it, I'm gonna say, if you have not yet, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to your man's channel. Thank you in advance. Um, so yeah, I'll start you guys off with story time. I briefly owned an Outcast uh, 4S version 2.5. Got it home, sat in the box. I walked around the box a couple days, finally opened up the box and I just looked at it and I said, this is a nice rig. This is a really nice rig, but it was just small. It was just a teeny car. I'm, and I, I always know like the small cars don't keep my attention very long. It's just me. Some people love them, some people don't. Um, and I was very interested in the updates that they had made to the four 2.5 um, updates. I was very interested in those. But when I saw the car, I just knew in my heart, like I'm not gonna keep this car for long. So why even do it? So I just took it back to Adams. And when I got up there, you know, this was sitting up there. I said, all right, Adam, don't give me a refund. Let's just put that credit towards this EXB RTR success. And this is another one that, you know, I got that big rock. Love my big rock success. Um, but this is just something I saw up there. I said, all right, put the credit towards this. So for right now, I'm just gonna do an unboxing on this because I might sell this i'm not sure yet so i'm just going to do an unboxing bring you guys some content and you guys let me know if you guys want to see me run it then maybe i'll run it maybe i'll it'll, i'll hang on for a little while about it but you guys are going to be seeing it the first time like i'm seeing it so this is the box and we can go around the box quickly just to see what is new and improve on the exb rtr so what's new is they are including the spectrum um dx um three with the AVC, um, unlike, with, unlike with the Big Rock, they included the entry level um, radio. So you didn't have the AVC and all the other options up there. Um, so that's pretty cool. We also had the new improved Spectrum uh, S665 uh, waterproof servo with the 25 two spline in it. That is a must needed, is, 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 a, is a great upgrade. And I think they're doing this across all the new lines and even on the 4S Outcast, I believe it has the same server with the 25.2 spline, which is great. They do have the Firma new version two 150 amp smart uh, ESC. What's great about this ESC is they actually took the updates that they had to do on the Big Rock and also already did those in the box. So you don't have to worry about doing the upgrade to the ESC. I was a little disappointed that if you didn't have the V2 card for the Big Rock, you had to purchase it for a 20% off discount. I really felt like Arma should have included that programming card for the folks who had the Big Rock. They should just send those to people for free. And I have heard cases where people have sent emails and Horizon has sent them cards for free. So it might take that if you don't want to spend the money on a program card, I think it's around 30, 35 bucks. Send Arm an email, Horizon an email, ask and talk to them. Hey, I got this ESC. I don't think it's fair that I had to pay for it. Blah, 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 blah. Maybe they will honor it and send you a new um, uh, program card. Uh, it, uh, we also still have the 2050 uh, KV motor. You know, it was red, now it's black. It was, originally armor branded now spectrum branded same motor underneath um they're also reiterating that there's no lipo batteries or a charger included with this model but it also shows you the recommended chargers and and, and batteries for the rig so that's pretty cool so yeah along with the rig in the box you get the manual some stickers always have a solid manual from Arma. It's pretty cool. They also include some shims for your diffs that you may or may not need to use. Um, that's really nice to have. 
So keep those and these shims, if you don't need them in the armor, put these to the side, save them in your toolbox because you might have some other diffs and other rigs that you'll be able to use these shims on. You get a set of AAA batteries, I mean AA batteries for your radio, and you get the armor tool kit. Really the only things that are really useful are the the wrenches, the, uh, you know, the, the nut drivers are really good to have. Everything else is just garbage. Nice to have if, um, an emergency, but hopefully if you're a pure hobbyist or you know if you've been in this game long enough, you've got a set of home tools that does all this already. And also now they're kind of included in like this informational card where it tells you how to assemble the card. Then there's a support card and underneath the support card you have some QR codes that will link you to the support and then also link you to the sh uh, showcase on your phone um, using your phone's photo app. That's pretty, pretty damn cool. Has a little hole here, so maybe if you wanted to keep track of them, you could put them on a key ring and keep them close. And that, that's what's included in the box. Now, here's our, here's the, here's the star of the show. Let's do a little spin for y'all. Take y'all off my head. Do a, do a nice little spin on the, on the side of the game for y'all. Let y'all look. I really wish, I really, really wish, give me a second. I really wish, man, they would have included the Willy bar. I really like having the wing Willy bar on the back here. I really wish they would have included it. I don't know if it would still fit, but we might give it a try. I don't think it's going to fit though with this new wing. So maybe they'll come up with something. But anyway, let's talk about the car. From the front, you see they got the front bumper and we'll take a look at the bottom too. Bottom's really nice, clean, 7075, T6 aluminum, solid. Um, the new body is really nice. It's the same body, but it's another paint scheme. It's really nice. Um, you can look at the shock caps. Well, let's, I'll, before I take the lid off, let's talk about the other thing. The wing mount is new and improved. You see here, so instead of going up and down, it's a, a it, it, bolts right onto the back and it's webbed and it, it seems like it might have a little bit more strength in the in the wing mount and if you run these things hard these wing mounts will break and pull out hopefully this is an improvement that will you know hopefully neglect you know hopefully you will see less of that happening and uh, that's pretty much it from the outside I'll take the body off take a look at the towers shock towers are really good I think the front shock tower is the same as it was previously you can see also you have the upper A-arm supports are aluminum, that's really dope. The front turn, I mean the front um, bulkhead, that, this is aluminum bulkheads, I mean, that is a game changer for this price, $6.99. You think about if you get a sledge for $6.99 brand new, you don't have any of these updates. You're getting an updated RTR Creighton for the price of a stock sledge. Um, you know, with no updates on it. So I think it's really worth it to get the update, you know, to get the EXB over any sledge. Sledge has its place, but $6.99, I said it before in the video from like a year or two ago, it's too goddamn high. Shout out to Flossie Carter, too goddamn high. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, that's just my opinion. Sledge is a, is a, is a nice rig, but it's just too much money. Uh, but yeah. You can see the A-arms are beefier than with a stock success rig. Um, I believe the hubs have been updated somewhat, still will be backwards compatible with the older rigs for sure. I wish I had one of these wheels off. Let me take some of the wheels off. Something I noticed about these wheels. Um, I don't know if anybody really went into depth about these wheels, but the wheels, the rims themselves, looks like they have been updated and they offer some additional strengthening. So let me get this wheel nut off and I'll show you guys closely. You look at the back of this rim, look at the webbing. So maybe along with lightening the wheel, it, it actually adds some strength to the rim itself. Um, so that's pretty cool. I don't think I've seen anybody really talk about the wheels. I know people usually tend to throw these wheels away. You really don't use them. Um, I plan on using them for now. Um, I'm not, I'm trying to, I'm trying a new thing where I try to run cars close to stock before I upgrade them. And I usually do that, but I don't keep them on long term. Um, and like I said, I'm, I've been surprised. I, I kind of have to give Corrali 
Team Karate the shout out for that because their stock motor ESCs are very strong out the box and really perform well. And I know these Arma ESCs have a, a nice option, you know, for, you don't have to always do a castle or hobby, hobby wing update to get similar performance. So I'm like, let's just, you know, let's just see if the, if the electronics have improved over the years, just like they have improved with the chassis and things like that. So I'm not planning to change out the motor and ESCs at this point, but I did change out the pinion gear. I put the speed pinion on. I'm a bash with it. That's just me. I don't care. Oh, they're going to tell you, don't do it. You don't need that. For me to be excited about Ape Scale, they have to be kind of ballistic. So that's why I got that big tooth uh, pinion in there. I think it's 18 or 19 tooth is the speed run pinion for this car. Anyway, the chassis braces is really cool. Um, you know, a lot of other bashers. <clears throat> Team Karate um, have this dual <laughs> chassis <laughs> mount braces, but also if you think about it, they also did it on the crate in 8S, uh, in the Outcast 8S with the dual, you know, uh, chassis braces. So maybe they're just pulling that over into um, the the Arma. Um, so the top chassis brace center support that's pretty cool, and it's integrated with the. Um, uh, center differential uh, mount and it's just a slight update to the center differential mount in order to accommodate you know uh, uh, the install of these uh, two guys here these are top chassis braces the lower chassis braces are EXP updated chassis braces I believe there's an update to the rear chassis brace where it uses two bolts underneath to um, yeah two bolts underneath to bolt that chassis support on so that's pretty nice pretty nice slick move there the diff cups have been updated all throughout the drive line which is really nice you can see there they've extended them so that you kind of don't pop out your axles too much so that's pretty pretty slick um i think previously um they used to give you a metal differential case uh you know diff cup it's still it's plastic now again um but I, I believe that maybe it's a figment of my imagination but they i think previously it was included but they might have pulled it out um but i don't think you need them and i think they got rid of the lsds with the exception of the one in the center so they still have the limited slip diff in the center and then in the front and the rear are just standard diffs from my understanding i believe they're all spiral cut in the front and the rear that's cool the another big update that people are ranting and raving about is the update to the servo saver. Really nice update to the servo saver. They really stiffened up, gave you a new spring in there and um, took some of the plastic out and actually made thicker plastic. Um, so that's a welcome update in addition to this new EXB RTR. Um, the turnbuckles have been beefed up. I, I think there's a few people who did some nice um, videos about how they beefed up the turnbuckles in here, made them wider, made them thicker, but the metal part of them themselves doesn't seem to be updated. It's just the, the ends are uh, updated to be more beefier and add more strength and stability there. The updated aluminum shock caps uh, are really nice to see on the rig, really nice welcome addition. Um, and they have the bleeder screw, so they don't have the bladders inside anymore really nice and also the connections uh the the shock stand also been updated to thicker and higher quality uh metallic material and the um the the, the plastic portions of the uh the shocks have been updated to metal where they connect onto the arms and the tower uh brace so it's really nice um what else can we talk about um the motor mount is you know all aluminum I mean, some of the core components that you want to see aluminum, they've made, I think the biggest, the biggest game changer though are these differential housings. Um, so I don't know, I'm on the fence with this car because I really was just gonna build like a Big Rock EXB, but I'm sure they'll probably drop a Big Rock EXB at some point. And basically I was just gonna take the new towers and the diff housings and put them on my Big Rock. Um, and I was going to skip this Creighton uh, uh, 6S EXB. You know, I was going to skip it, honestly, guys, because you don't really need both, in my opinion. But I could be wrong. So maybe there might be a reason for me to run it. So if you guys think I should run this car, I want to see a running video on this car, leave a comment. If I get a, let's say, let's say if I get 30 likes on the video, I'll run the car. 
and I'll do a nice running video. We'll jump it, throw success in it, and we'll see what it does. Otherwise, I'll still consider, you know, selling it or taking it back and trade it in for something else. Y'all know how I do. I don't keep stuff for too long. Um, there's some nice updates. I didn't go over everything, but the things that are catching my eyes, I'm, I'm talking about. Um, I think this is a solid rig. So we'll see what happens. So anyway, that's it. I said I got to end the video because I got things to do, guys. I'm gonna have to get yelled at in a minute. So um, put this body back on. Give it the old spinner Rooney, and I'll take you guys out. I'm gonna say thank you all for y'all time and y'all attention. Happy New Year's coming up in the next couple of days. And I'm gonna say thank you. Shout out to my homie Dave Hubbard. Rest in peace, bro. I've been over two years since we lost you, my guy. Um, we're approaching two years of that. Just watch that video when I uh, made an announcement. I'll leave a link to the video description for the folks who knew Dave Hubbard well. Um, I'm gonna leave a link to that video um, when we talked about him. Um, shout out to my homie, Big Willie. Shout out to the homie, Ted. Shout, um, shout out to um, Adam from RC Discount. Shout out to Mark and Hector from RC Discount. Oh, damn. One the other thing I forgot to mention. I am going to be running the um, Radio Master MT-12 with this car as well. So that's something else. I'm going to be using the receiver that came with the 4-in-1 and give you guys some more impressions with that. Anyway, your man's talking too much. I'm going to end it. Y'all be good now. Peace. GoPro, stop recording.